now. And we are in the peacekeeper home world now. Those evil peacekeepers, we should burn them! Well, the dragons are the peacekeepers. Those enemies Peaker. right there are called the foot soldiers. They actually got spears, they will attack us. They they kind of remind me of the the old-fashioned Mexi Mexican army during the Texas-American War by their uniform. I did not get a good look at them. Um, you'll get a good look at them soon. You'll see what I'm talking about. Because you know the Mexican... Well, you know the Mexican army... Welcome to Peacekeepers. Well, I'll let him talk. Our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. And they hoard treasure. Okay, yeah, because good dragons. You know, dragons who hoarded treasure were always so good at <laughs> tables. Well, money, money, money help people afford all. And those okay. guys are called cannon patrol. Their uniforms well, I was about, do. I was about to say, what the hell, some cannon here over here? Okay, their uniforms, I admit, they do look, uh,. They do look like they're from the uh, Santa Ana era, but yeah. their hats actually look Russian. You know those big, uh, yeah. puffy Russian ones? See, that always messed me up. I always thought that just because I had the Mexican army as a reference and we're in the desert right now. True. That's what always kind of got me. Now, there's actually a skill point to this area, I believe. Ah, yes. They get scared, and they run in the tents. Well done. Hang on. He actually mooned me! And he, he just, laughed! Really? And he's continuing to do that? You're a fire-breathing dragon, and he's mooning you. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess if you're gonna go out, go out insulting your enemy, right? And uh, I'm guessing this is a kid's game, so they can't flip you off, right? Um, in the original game, they actually did move, so they kept that true to the original game. I stand by my statement. And you just lit his ass on fire. You know, if he had passed gas right then, he'd have been in trouble. He would have been in trouble. I'm a, I'm a dragon. <laughs> what do I have to do here? <laughs> oh, you're fireproof? Um, uh, maybe? Never actually. Okay. That we've only seen Spyro fall in the lava. I'm not lava proof, but I I would say I'm fire resistant. I've actually not seen Spyro fall in the lava. Um, watch me in Spyro 2, I believe. Then we'll see a couple times me falling in lava. On purpose? Yeah, sure. As, as a demonstration. <laughs> hey, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting I guess that's the Hulk dragon, Make sure maybe? to keep him strong by feeding him lots The Hulk's not fat. Oh. Could have been Santa Dragon. Oh, I was thinking... I was thinking, um, Fat Gold Dragon. That works, too. Uh Yeah, in the peacekeeper world, I'm just gonna go through, get all the gems before we start the next level. Oh, that's one of the mini bosses in the game, Doctor Shim. Is he a sheep? No. That 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 last level was the end of the sheep section. That's why we saw so many sheep. Guards aren't very bright, are they? No, like I said, these guys are kind of idiots. Oh, oops, actually, they take some damage. From what? Um, the blue liquid. I think it's uh, it's some type of poison mi miasma or something. Why do the dragons want to occupy this planet? Again, they were forced here. They were forced to this part of the planet. 
I gotta say that you don't see the um, nicer planet until Spyro, the other half of the planet until Spyro 3. And that Paul actually do look really nice. Well, that's good. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Yes, do as we peacekeepers will do and burn everything in sight. Okay, Alchemist. After seeing that dragon, I gotta admit, I felt like we were on the bad team. <laughs> <laughs> because that, that, you gotta admit, that dragon had like an eye patch. It looked yeah, like a villain. It looked like a villain. <laughs> I was gonna say, were you supposed to burn the bunny rabbits too? Um, to get my health back. Serious? Are you positive you're the good guy? <laughs> I swear I'm the good guy here. Oh, really? Because, you know, you're having to defend yourself a lot. I feel like good guys don't need this much defense. I know in the second game I'm the good guy. Is <laughs> <laughs> this the second game? I'm overthrowing the dictator. Or overthrowing <laughs> No, the bunny gave me health back. Oh yeah, burn the bunnies. He definitely looks like a good guy now. Are there some orphans you can go with a torch down as well? Um... Does torching an orphanage give you extra life? If you burn down a hospital, will it restore your health completely? If there's sheep so bunnies in it, yes. How <laughs> <laughs> it. What did I miss? Oh, I missed literally those two. There you go. And with that, we are 100% done. We got the um, skill point. So... Yeah, that was the Peacekeeper homeworld. Next, when we come back, we'll be do going to Dry Canyon, which is right over here. Sounds good. So, see you all there.